What is going on everyone and welcome back to Cart 63 or if it's your first time here, welcome to the channel. My name is Ben in case you didn't know and uh, we are currently in schizophrenic New York. Uh, this is Western New York where if you don't like the weather today, just wait it. Just if, if you don't like the weather, just wait a couple hours or wait a day. It'll change. It'll, uh, it'll go from, I don't know, I think Tuesday was 80 degrees and today is 40. So <laughs> we are very close to the beginning of the season. It is, in fact, April, uh, what did I say, 16th, 17th, something like that. The 23rd, next Saturday, it's a week away. Uh, next Saturday is the first race of the season for our local track, uh, Paradise Speedway in Geneva, New York. And I'm taking the Yamaha out to that. So we got a scale, man. And I thought I'd take you on the journey into scaling. I'm not going to go completely into specifics because I have a video more so on that stuff. So I'm already going to have my, my toe aligned. Um, I'm going to have my, my camber and caster set and all that stuff. But what I wanted to talk about today is uh, the effects on cross. So I'm going to get the whole scale set up, set up, the whole scale set up here. Whoa, that was weird. Um, <clears throat> And then I'm gonna change things like rear stagger, or I'm gonna move washers on one of the front spindles to show you what effects that does have on your cross setting. So uh, give me, well, it's gonna be a little bit, but you won't know that. It's gonna be real quick like that, and we'll be in the next scene. So <laughs> I'll see you in a second. Okay, everyone, here we are, dove down, looking at my cart on the scales. It's not actually on the scales yet. Couple things I wanted to point out uh, before anybody addresses them. KT100, uh, normally I would shed weight. Uh, I wouldn't need a big UAS style rotor. Uh, this is the thick rotor because the open is going on the scythe. Uh, there's my custom bumper that I made. And <laughs> the biggest thing probably is the big tank. I could change out to the smaller uh, style tank because KT100 just sips fuel. But honestly, I plan on running this in UAS and I don't want to change everything back over. As is, I already got to change over nerf bars and get these uh, side panels off here. So, <laughs> Also, the nose is cut down like it is a junior. I obviously am not a junior, but I do have a front wing that mounts in those holes right there. And goes across and unnecessary for kt100 racing so we have got her on the scale uh, like i said this isn't a full scale session uh, we're gonna come over here i've already zeroed out and uh, this is awfully shiny i've zeroed out everything but we're gonna go uh, over to my wheel weights that's where i like to start everything's on zeros no weight or anything we're gonna Roll the cart off the roll-offs. We're going to put it on. And this really doesn't tell you much because it's, you know, uh, maybe maybe people are, uh, you know, are good at reading, you know, what a bear cart should weigh. But uh, that is what my KT100, uh, this is dry. I don't have any fuel on board. I'm not sure how other people scale, but I always scale dry. So I'm gonna jump in this thing real quick. We're gonna get a quick scale setting before we uh, start making any changes to show you what those do. Okay, everyone, here we are sitting actually in the seat of my cart. So, <laughs> all right, like I said before, I'm not gonna get overly precise on this. I just wanted to show you how things work when you change certain aspects of the um, your adjustments, your your staggers or washers on your cross. So we're going to do just that. Um, I'm giving you a baseline here. Okay, how much my cart weighs and everything. Again, this isn't going to be precise because I'm I'm not you know I'm moving around all sorts of stuff. Am I hitting the right button? Probably not. There we go. Okay, so just give you a general idea of where we're at. Uh, 45, 6 nose, 61% uh, left. Okay, it's probably a little light on nose, a little heavy on left side. But we're going to make a rear stagger adjustment here. And then we're going to sit back down the scales and show you exactly what happened to the scale numbers. Okay, all right, give me a second. 
just real quick here i wanted to show you exactly what i'm doing so this is a tire i had on it right now and uh this is one of the ones i stretched out so i have 34 and a quarter here what i'm going to put on it is 33 and 7 8 the left rear obviously that's sitting over there is 33 even so just to let you know i reduced rear stagger to get these next numbers all right and here we are back on the scales uh, did it really increase much in these numbers eh, you know you'd have to do some math to figure it out but when we go back to our wheel weights this is where i think you're going to see the difference uh, pop up in your your cross settings and everything uh, and what it does to that so the next adjustment i'm going to make is I'm going to go to the right front and I'm gonna move some washers and I'm gonna do my best to get my camera down there to get a shot of actually doing um, as you can see I kind of have the cart propped up so I back the cart up onto the roll-off pads which are, are these not everybody's scales have those but mine happen to do have those so I roll it back any adjustments you don't want to really do on the pads uh, you don't want to damage them in any sort. So I, I rolled back the cart. I have it propped up just with some on the Nerf bar. No big deal. But this is what we're looking at here. So I had uh, quite a bit of cross. Uh, this is where the recon setting was. And uh, for this, I you know, if I want to get it down, say, to the, where I was used to running the recon, which was about 62, this spindle is now down so all the washers are up top there and there's maybe one in the spacer on the bottom there so i think i'm going to make a significant change here i'm going to take that top castle nut off i'm going to remove probably two or three washers and i'm going to take them from from the top side right there and put them down there which is effectively going to you know push this spindle upwards which is going to reduce cross in the chassis. Remember, cross is the pressure between the right front and left rear. So uh, give me a second here. There's no way I'm gonna be able to <laughs> mount my camera to, to film me doing it. So I'm just gonna very simply remove that castle nut. Kingpin's gonna come down and out. I'm going to move some washers and then I'll get some footage right after I do that. And as promised, here we are back at the spindle again. All right, as you can see now, if you look under here, I put three washers of cross, or I took three washers of cross out. So I took them from the top, I put them on the bottom, raising the spindle, which takes cross out of the chassis. Now let's see what that does to the scale numbers. All right, and here we are back looking at the numbers. And as I suspected, if I recall correctly, we were looking at uh, 65 almost 66 percent cross we made a significant change of three washers actually raising the right front spindle and that brought it down to 64 percent cross so there you go there's some of the numbers if you want to see the partials we can do that as well um, Change my numbers just slightly, a little this, a little that, and uh, yeah. So there you go. Uh, I hope this helps somebody. We're going to go to a conclusion here, and uh, hopefully all this mess made sense to you. <laughs> all right, see you okay. in a second. Okay, well, I hope the uh, footage turned out well for this. <laughs> I never know until I actually sit down and start editing on my phone whether or not it came out or not. So um, just real quickly... Yes, those adjustments do have an effect on cross. If you if you increase or decrease front or rear stagger, or if you move washers, which is typically what one does in order to adjust cross, they do have that effect. So keep that in mind when you go to the track that uh, you, you think you might need a little more rear stagger. That is in turn going to affect the handling, either the, the in or the off of your cart chassis depending on if it's a high or low cross chassis the, the pressure on your right rear the pressure on your right front that type of thing so just keep that in mind that yes you can make a small adjustment even if it's a, you know say a 16th of an inch of rear stagger that is in turn going to play with your cross just a little bit and may have an effect on more than just the center of the corner 
it may have an effect on entry or exit of the corner. So uh, I hope this was helpful to somebody. If you're enjoying this type of content, uh, if you didn't mind, if, if you had a second, you could always, uh, you, could, you could hit a thumbs up on the video or you could subscribe to the channel and that helps a ton. The numbers are growing. I'm, I'm getting these videos out to people and I very much appreciate every one of you that shares my videos or, or anything like that. It makes a comment, anything. I, I truly do appreciate you guys spending the time uh, to, to watch my videos and show that you appreciate me. I can't even talk today to appreciate me. <laughs> so that's enough screwing up for today. I will, uh, I'll see you next week in the next video. Catch you later.